The Devils continue the Southern California takedown, beating UCLA 42-23. Cronkite News reporter David Bloom went to the game from our Los Angeles bureau. The Devils' win marks their second straight against a Pac-12 opponent, and their first on the road. There was a bit of added pressure for ASU in this homecoming game, of sorts. The Arizona State Sun Devils took on the 20th-ranked UCLA Bruins in Pasadena Saturday. For ASU quarterbacks Jaden Daniels, this game meant more than bragging rights in the division. It was a homecoming. Being so close to here, uh, it felt good coming back home and uh, you know getting the win for them. Uh, getting, away, getting away from my grandpa that, that passed uh, yesterday was his birthday. So it just felt good coming back home and playing, playing in front of my uh, family and friends. The San Bernardino native threw for 286 yards and two touchdowns, as well as 45 yards on the ground. Daniels is one of 29 players on ASU's roster who are from Southern California. And the team's track record playing here has been spotty. Got about four to six guys on the football team from California. Last time we showed up in this place, it wasn't a good outcome for us. I thought our emotions got a little The second half was a completely new ball game as the Devils defense, led by SoCal natives Merlin Robertson and DeAndre Pierce, held UCLA scoreless. You know, it was funny because we go in at halftime, <laughs> and I looked at it before we went out, I said, guys, we're still winning. I get us a point, but we're still we're still in the lead. Daniels was able to handle the pressure of being back in front of the Southern California crowd. He led the Devils to a dominant 42-23 victory, leaving them alone atop the Pac-12 South. Arizona State now ranks 22nd in the nation after their victory over UCLA. The Sun Devils will take on the Stanford Cardinal on October 8th at home in Tempe, looking to stay undefeated against conference opponents. In Los Angeles, David Bloom, Cronkite News.